Hey, this is DJ Muller coming at you. I'm going to do a little talk today on uh, fishing super strike needles. Uh, I did a previous video on loading the needle. Now I wanted to do one on uh, explain a little bit how to fish it. This is a specific use condition. Basically fast moving water and where you want penetration. You have to get down to the stripers and put it right in their kitchen. Put it right, in their, right on their dinner plate. Um, the super strike needle out of the package is a very, very good product. Um, but I found by modifying it, it becomes a very, very versatile lure in different situations depending on what kind of water I have, where, and what I'm trying to accomplish. If you want it to go far, go far. If you want it to go short, you can go short. High in the water column, low in the water column, it can do it all. The other thing about the Super Strike Needle is that it's uninhibited by wind. Um, windy days and all that, you know, you have no problem with a lure, you know, picking up the wind and blowing back over your shoulder. This will not happen with a loaded Super Strike Needle, which makes it a very, very valuable weapon um, for the surf caster. Okay, when retrieving the super strike needle, like what I like to do is go out to my spot. If it's sandy beach or rocky coast, it doesn't matter. Cast out, let it sink. That's a very important component. You got to let it sink. I see you guys cast out and then start reeling, and their lure is coming up on the surface. Cast out, wait three or four or five seconds, give your lure time, catch up to it, then pick up your retrieve and you'll feel it. If it's bouncing, you're hitting rocks and stuff, pick up your retrieve a little bit because you want to be about. I like to be. In my mind, I like to see my lure about a foot or two above the bottom. So if I'm bouncing off rocks, I know I'm too deep. I pick up my retrieve a little bit, and it brings it up. And, of course, we also have um, current moving left to right or right to left that will bring your lure up. By reeling slow, this needle will stay down. It will never rise up. By reeling quicker, it will rise up to the surface like other needles do. Like, you know, the wood needles, two-ounce wood needle, you can reel as slow as you want. If you're in fast-moving current, it's still going to bring it up to the surface. So you got to be careful. And that's where this lure eliminates that rise up. It'll, it'll still rise up, just not all the way to the surface where you really don't want it. You want your lure down. So your retrieve speed is based on um, what you feel. Now if you're reeling and you might see, and all of a sudden your lure is on the surface, you know you're reeling too fast. So that's something you've got to be very, very aware of when you're fishing. Um, your lure is an extension of you. It's like your hand in the water. It's like you have a 60 yard long arm, but you're in the water. You've got to feel everything. And if you don't know what your lure is doing, then you're doing something wrong. Make sure you're intimate with your lures and make sure you know what they're doing at all times. Super Strike Needle, although it doesn't have a metal lip or nothing where you can feel anything or a shad or, you know, with the paddle tail, it's still a lure that you have to feel and be in touch with. When it's loaded, you have a lot more feel, you have a lot more control over what it's doing. So it's very important that you remember that and be acquainted with the, uh, with the weight of the needle. You can get to the point where it is too heavy, but you control the needle by your retrieve speed. So what you're going to do is you're going to cast out, let it sink, very important, and then once you know where the bottom is, once you feel a bounce off a rock or something, you then begin to retrieve. Bring bring the speed up to, the, to raise your lure up or to drop it down. If the lure is bang on the bottom, increase your rate of retrieve. If you feel like you're too high in really fast moving water, you slow down your retrieve a little bit. Once I get it loaded, I want to improve the split ring. Like this is a Wolverine triple uh, split ring and a 3-0 VMC hook. Also like a 5-0 or 6-0 sidewash dress. I like a single hook on the back because it uh, helps prevent excessive damages to the fish's body and head and so on. A lot of times on the needle fish, if they're sand around, they do a lot of hitting from behind. and So a single hook is all I need. I don't need trebles and having the mess of being on a rock in the middle of the night and having... Uh, all these troubles all over the place. It just, it just leads to more problem. But uh, a simple dressed single back hook with a, with a good split ring makes this a, a big fish um, lure also. I classify it into two colors, light and dark, basically. Um, I know at times like certain colors are better and so on and so forth, but most of the time it's like the fish are seeing contrast, they're, they're probably seeing in shades of gray. like. A dark needle is a dark target for them. A lighter needle during the day, dusk, low light conditions, a little bit more natural, doesn't stick out as much. So I like I like the lighter colors during the day, first light and last light. And then the darker needles, like the root beer or the blurple, you know, or good night lures. If I had two colors, this in the dark, 
you know, my purple or whatever, and light green, a more natural color, which I think this is the, what they call the neon yellow um, by day. And then again, modification wise, I just put um, VMC on the front, and on the back, I like to put a single hook. This is like a, not a real strong, and obviously, this is a teaser that, but I wanted the color. And it worked good, and it's working. I've caught a decent amount of fish on both of these lures this fall. Optimally for Block Island and to deeper, faster water and, and rocky points and so on and so forth, I like to go up to somewhere around 2.6, 2.7. Um, if it's moon tide, it might pop up to 3. This one, for example, this is the big ounce and three-quarter super strike needle. It's loaded in two places, in the front here and the back. And this particular needle is weighted up to 2.6. This needle I would use in like rocky, bouldery bottom, boulder fields such as like Montauk, Southside, Block Island, Cuddy Hunk, where you have deep water, rocky bottom, and fast moving water as well. You need a lure that's gonna cast far, out past rocky points, drop down into deeper water, and then stay down as you retrieve. But again, I have all my different needles loaded to different weights that I'm gonna use for that night. Before I go out that night, I'll, I'll choose the weights I want and make sure I have them with me. Now, for those who fish sandy beaches, I like to go down to a little bit smaller sometimes. I take the one ounce needle and put it up to about 1.7 ounces. It casts far, it sinks good, very versatile tool for a smaller offering as opposed to an ounce and a half, which is almost eight inches, nine inches fully dressed. The other one I have is this one. It's a specialty lure. It's 3.5 ounces. I fish it in big water, hard water, um, like post storm, or big surf, rolling water, fast pulling currents. This lure casts far and it sinks like a rock straight to the bottom. That's the bonus of the uh, loaded super strike needle.